Hello, I'm with Hayden Bird, 3 1 defeat at Cheshunt today. Um, Hayden, we have to talk about the red card, I suppose, first uh, for Dan Bennett. We were quite far away from it, so I didn't know what went on. Can you uh, enlighten us a bit? I, I need to speak to Dan. Um, I, I haven't spoken to Dan at any length. So obviously, it happened right on the brink of half time, and at half time, we had, we had to work and we had to change the shape of the team, we had to change the dynamic of the game. Um, but the truth is, is that Dan was sent off in a moment of frustration because the referee's game management from minute one to minute 94 was the worst I've ever seen at this level. And we can criticise Dan and obviously we'll have a conversation and we'll discuss it, but we have a team with emotion. And when you have a team with emotion and a team with desire, and a team that wants to wants to do well for the club, sometimes emotions boil over. I suspect that that has happened. But to defend him for a moment, I'm not surprised it happened because the decisions in the first half from the referee were poor and the decisions in the second half were even worse than his decisions in the first half. Well, sticking with the first half, I mean, Cheshire were obviously really up for it and they were pressing a lot. Yeah. And I suppose we did need the referee to be strong when those, what we would see as some of them being overly zealous challenges were going in and he was letting it go, yeah. put Cheshire on the front foot. Was that, was that your main issue with him in the first half? Uh, I think that the referee, the referee, the referee managed the game very badly. I'll, 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 give you, I'll give you examples of that. The referee has to have a consistency throughout the pitch. So I'll, I'm sorry to harp back to the second half, but I think there's at least one penalty in the second half. If those challenges are on the halfway line, he gives free kick, as he constantly was. The, the, the fact is, is that we come into the game and Chesun did not put on a tactical masterclass to beat Kingstonian. Chesunt played like all of Craig Edwards' teams play. They work very hard for the second balls. They play very little football. They want to go from A to B quickly. Um, and so you have to be competitive. You have to make sure that you pick them off. You have to win the second balls in the middle of the pitch and then have a big control of the game. Today, uncharacteristically, we didn't have the same quality with the ball. The work with the ball wasn't what we expect. And as a result of not controlling the game, they started to pick up the second balls and put us on the back foot. And Moss was winning a lot of headers. And... Were, yeah. we quite, were we assertive enough in the first half? No, I, I, I think that we needed to be more aggressive. We needed to be more assertive. But I don't want to give Chesant any credit because we gave them every goal. But the fact is we gave them every goal. I haven't come away from the game thinking that oh, this is a team that we have to play in a couple of weeks. They've scored three goals against us. It's uncharacteristic for us to concede these goals. Um, the assists come from our own players and with a pretty large slice from the guy in the middle as well. Um, a creditable second half performance is we're down to 10. I mean, I think Cheshire's tired, but they sat deep as well, having yeah. got the goals. And you mentioned we got a goal back through Louis, brilliant finish, and definitely the penalty for the same when he was on right in front yep. of the edge of the box, but inside from our view. So incredibly, we could have come back to 3-3. It, wouldn't, it wasn't impossible. No, the, 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 the second half was more indicative of the work. The second half is much more characteristic of Kingstonian. We wasn't characteristic of, of our normal standards in the first half, that's certainly true. But you know, this is non-league football and this is football and football doesn't allow you to just roll on game to game to game to game. There's going to be a few bumps in the road. So today is a bump in the road. What was important in, in half time is to stress that we wasn't ourselves, but there were still two or three really good chances. Yeah. And I still felt with, with 10 men, if we had a, a greater control of the ball, that we could turn this around. And I think that the result was flat at Chesham. And I think with the, um, with the help of the officials, which was the biggest opponent today, has given them the three points and didn't allow us to turn it round. The second half performance deserved more, I think. And well, we'll see Cheshunt again in 11 days at King George's Field, so that would be interesting. Uh, and Leamington next week, that's a big game. And I suppose if we were going to have a questionable ref and an unfortunate defeat, better today than next Saturday. Yeah, of course. Um, days like this bring you back down to earth. Like I say, we have to be philosophical. I'm sure that you've spoken to managers in the past in this situation that create a blame culture and they kill Dan Bennett and they're very critical of, the, of, of their players. Today we wasn't right and as a dressing room we accept that. But 
even though he wasn't right in the first half. It would have been easier in the second half to roll over and accept defeat, being two goals down, three goals down with 10 men, but we didn't. We continue to fight. That's a credit to the players. Um, well done them for that. I didn't expect any less than that, but they certainly did that. And with a little more luck, it could have been a bit, a bit different. We'll accept it today. We'll accept the defeat today. It won't happen when we play them next time. And uh, it'll bring us back down to earth as we, we work hard all week to look forward to next Saturday. Yeah, that's non-league. Thank you very See much indeed. Week. Thank you, guys. Thanks, everyone.